What's up? It's WizardFu, and now I'm working on shields for Wraithbinder, and this has really increased the fun of the game right away. So, um, you can see I can use a shield, right? It's got, it like, you can uh, strafe around a little bit. Let's get away from this guy for a second. You can strafe, so a little bit of movement, right? I'll do some kind of animation where you can strafe walk, make that uh, look better. But, um... Yeah, so you can you can hold the button, and the shield is active for as long as you keep holding the button. But uh, it stops as soon as you it it uh, is depleted of hit points. So basically, it has like three sword swings, sword damages worth of hit points. I'll just stand here, and let him hit me a couple times. You notice um, also that he gets knocked back when I'm using my shield, right? So he bounces off me when I'm using the shield, which really is pretty fun. Um, it it adds a really nice dynamic to the game because um, you've got two options. You know, instead of just you can swing the sword and everybody's Roshan bowing, now you've got the shield option. So, um, and and having them bounce off of each other really helps that that option feel different. Also, another um, unique part of this is it only blocks for the direction that you're currently facing. So, if you are facing towards the enemy, the shield works. But if I face away from the enemy and I hold the shield, he can hit me. So um, that will hopefully make a reason to be able to use the camera rotation, right? So like, uh, so maybe you're at a certain angle and it's just easier for you to block by rotating the camera, or maybe you can only see a certain person if you kind of like rotate to that angle and then block something like that. I think it'll make it a little bit more of like a pro feature for players that are really uh, like really adept at this game. Being able to um, uh, like have the shield have a certain direction will really help, like advanced players basically. Oh, the crash! <laughs> I haven't checked that victory condition in a while. But um, yeah. So this is uh, it's really not that complex of code. Um, let's look at the code anyways, though. Um. So basically, when you when you first start pressing the button, it uh, it grants you the use of the shield. So it creates a shield, right? And then it gives it some hit points. So these hit points can get depleted in the health system before the entity is released. And then this is pushing back a move chain so that it's chained to the position of the player. So as the player moves the shield moves with the player exactly so that's kind of a nice feature I've added that in move component just for this shield to work and basically a chain um, I've got uh, an offset which is just a straight absolute offset so you like if you wanted to be 10 on the X 5 on the Y that would give you the exact offset that you set it to but then I've also got this plan for the future a type trail where it sort of like is flexible where um, it's based on the current vector between you and your and what you're chained to, and uh, it sort of like is elastic, like it's like a little spring or a, a bungee cord or something like that connected. So I haven't finished that part, but I have it planned for later. And what else? Using the shield, I guess the health system is an important part to look at too. Um, here's where it determines the angle. So basically, it gets uh, my angle, your angle, compares them, and if it's greater than 90, then you can use the shield. So, for example, if two players were facing each other head-on, directly towards each other, their angle delta would be 180. Um, so, But if they're facing directly away from each other, it would be zero. So the angle delta has got to be greater than 90 so that you can... You can uh, you can be hit by corner, like on on the sides. Like if you if you get hit directly on the side, um, at an exact ninety degree angle, then you will block it. But if it's just a little bit more than, and if it's just a little bit behind you, then you it won't actually use the shield. So it won't. This is all it does. Basically, it just uh, it takes the amount of hit points from the shield and uses some of them. That's really all that there is there. So 
that's kind of it for this video. I'm really excited to have this because um, it's starting to really shape up the game and make it feel more gamey, uh, which is always a good thing. Um, and I've, the next things I really want to work on are like getting the, the ghost sword to be better and the blink orb. The blink orb, let's use the blink orb. See, it just blinks you into, into the sky sometimes. It works kind of though. Like the blink orb, the ghost sword, the boomerang. These things will also really help make it more fun. So, yeah, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.